Welcome back to the Goku Report. This time, I am looking at, more or less, I consider a guilty pleasure top five. I am looking at specifically five songs that I like from the somewhat very hated new metal band, though, even though I admit they do have several good songs, even somebody who's not a fan of the band. Uh, this is, for me personally, top five favorite songs from the band. Limp Bizkit. First up we have three honorable mentions. First coming in, uh, first honorable mention, this song was released in 2003 and it featured a member of Korn was involved. Um, it came off their album Results May Vary. Uh, the song is called Build a Bridge. It's a somewhat more softer, like low-key, easy laid-back type of song, and it's actually not bad in my opinion. Second honorable mention is a song that was released in 2000 called Hold On. It's actually not a bad song. And the last of the honorable mentions was released in 2000 and want, or sorry, in 2021, off of their most recent album, the song has some really great guitar riffs, I'll definitely be honest. The last of the honorable mentions is the song called Out of Style on their album, uh, Limp Bizkit Still Sucks. I actually appreciate them for their sense of humor, at least they don't take themselves super serious. As I've said, I'm not the biggest fan of Fred Durst, but everyone behind him, I love. DJ Lethal is great. Uh, Wes Borland, one of the greatest modern guitarists in my opinion. Coming in at number five is a song off their most recent album that I surprisingly really enjoyed. It's really catchy. That's one thing I'll give to you. Definitely a few Limp Bizkit songs are, they are definitely very catchy. Uh, coming in number five for me personally is the song Dad Vibes. Surprisingly, really caught me off guard. I was not expecting it to be as good as it was, and is by far probably the best song they've done since their album uh, Hot Dog Flavor Water Chocolate Starfish, which I still think is a dumb album name, but to each their own. But like I said, coming in at number four is off of specifically their 2000 album. Uh, coming in at number four is a song I think has a great overall vibe. I like the, definitely the guitar, the build-up is great. Overall, the instrumental work is superb. At number four is the song Boiler. Arguably one of uh, Limp Bizkit's best songs ever, at least, especially instrumental-wise, is probably just about, in my opinion, probably their best song, instrumentally speaking, for the most part. Uh, coming in at number three is a great song from their album Pre-Hot Dog Flavor Water. Uh, this was released in 1999. This was, I believe, the second ever song I ever heard from Limp Bizkit. It's um, arguably, if you want a song to really like pump you up, like you want something a little more aggressive than the per usual, this is arguably probably one of Limp Bizkit's best songs, at least when it comes to the overall build-up, the riff work from Wes Borland, and everything is really great far in all its cylinders. Coming at number three for me personally is uh, Break Stuff. Is arguably, I think, one of their best, definitely of their more aggressive songs, definitely their best. Coming at number two was the third or fourth song I ever heard from the band, uh, released in 2000. Take a Look Around, which is specifically known to be used in Mission Impossible 2 movie, which of course was directed by a specific individual, uh, named the course, and obviously very much despised, and that being the course, Michael Bay. Coming in at number one, it released in 2000, this was the first song I was ever introduced to by the band, arguably my favorite song still to this day, mostly because it was the theme for, at the time, WWF, 
WrestleMania, as some people call it, X7. I still call it WrestleMania 17. So go your screw yourself, people who call it X7. Stupid. 17. Um, of course, that is arguably, in my opinion, the best WrestleMania of all time. Uh, but of course, that is the song My Way. And I really also enjoyed the music video to My Way as well. It's a really good, if you're wanting a music video I just to get a good kick out of and get a good laugh, it's great. That's one thing I will give at least to Fred Durst. He doesn't take himself seriously, and that's a rarity in rock and metal, even more so nowadays. It's said there aren't at least more people that take themselves a little less seriously. And I think that's something that's missing from a lot of really rock and metal nowadays. There are, I mean, don't get me wrong, there are a lot of bands I like that do take themselves seriously. But I do appreciate sometimes when some people are a little more laid back and go with the flow type of thing. And... That's something I appreciate more with the humor and stuff, even if sometimes it's a little immature. I still have to give credit where credit's due. Limp Bizkit really was one of the first bands to really infuse, you know, metal or new metal AK stuff, infusing with rap. Really, they were one of the earliest bands to do that. Arguably, I would say, I think bands like Limp or like Linkin Park took what they did and took it way farther and refined it to a great amount with like Hybrid Theory and Meteora. But with that said, this is just personally five songs by Lindis that I genuinely enjoy. And I'm not going to act like I don't. No matter how bad people think the band is and stuff, they still do have some legitimately good songs. And I think they should get at least a little respect, especially for the great guitar work and the mixing by G DJ Lethal, which of course start out with uh, House of Pain. But with that said, I'll see y'all next time. Same into time, same into jump. The music in the background today is from Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Fine Game. Anyways, with that said, I'll see y'all soon enough.